Welcome to another episode of Quest for the Cup 2011. Today we're in Tacoma, Washington at Flex Wheeler Fitness. We're going to be watching Delphin Ignacio train chest and shoulders. Let's go take a look and see what he's got. Come on, I got you. I got you. All you. All you. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Big one, big one. Grind it. Come on. Yeah. Do it. Come on, come on. Yeah. Good work. Good work. All right, Woo. Delphin. I like this. Old school trainer right here we got. It's nice to finally meet you. Turn around here to the camera. Nice to finally meet you. I know you've been competing a long time. I've never had a chance to really talk with you. So we're training chess today. You're starting on a bench. You're old school basic. You like the barbells. What, tell us tell us what you do. I pretty much stick to uh, uh, free weights, uh, barbell, dumbbells, uh, a little bit of machine here and there. But, uh, yeah, I'm old school. Old I like school. the pretty much straight weight. Okay, what, what about your training volume? Uh, are you low volume, high volume, reps, sets? What type of, what's your uh, philosophy? I stick with uh, four sets of uh, 12 reps. A total of 12 sets per uh, muscle group that I, I work out. Okay, and you pick like three different exercises per, per yes, body per, part? per body part, Okay, yes. all right, what are we gonna do next? Um, well, I'm done with that. Now we're gonna go right into the dumbbell press. Uh, All right, let's do it. I don't want to keep slow you down. Nice, come on, good reps, good reps. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Good. So Delphin, you do uh, you, you always do two flat movements together or do you mix it around? I do mix it around. I don't I always change my workout. Every, it's never every time same. you do every different time I, yes. so you pick a different exercise each yes. time. And I believe in that yeah, shocking that body. Never uh, uh, ever doing the same old stuff. Like have that. you been doing this for a long time or have you just Lately, uh, for about five years. This, about five years. Yeah. And you like the way so, the yeah. results you get from it. Obviously, it's working. You look great. You're coming down from the middleweights. Have you done the Emerald Cup before? No, this is my first. This uh, is your show. first Emerald Cup. Yes, it is. So. Wow. All right, man. Well, I'm looking forward to you. You're looking great. Thanks. All, All right. right. One more set. <laughs> Come on. Looking good. Looking good. Come on. All you. Yeah. Grind it. Come on. Grind it. Grind it. Yeah. Good one. Good one. Good one. Big. Yeah. One more. Got it. Got it, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Nice. Good work. Excellent set, Del. That's going to do some damage. I feel sorry for those lightweights, man. I wouldn't want to be there. What's your next exercise? Uh, now we're going right into the incline press right here. Incline. Do you always do incline? Do you ever do decline? Uh, it's rare, but I have done declines. Yeah. Uh, Mostly you like to stick to flat and incline. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you get to it. Good. All right, let me
me see you work. Let's go dig, come on. You know I'm gonna be bringing it, come on. Let's go. Let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, one more. Gotcha, gotcha, come on. Yeah, good work. All right, Delphin, come on over here. That chest is looking huge. Man, you feeling good about this show? Yes. Now, uh, go ahead. What, what, what's your expectations? Uh, well, you know, to win. You go so in to win, that's the win. mindset. So, uh, that's what I've been thinking, that's what's been in my mind, and I'm ready. Now, you took eighth, you said, at the uh, yes, uh, USA? Yes, I did the USA, USA last, year? last year in Vegas, and uh, I placed eighth out of 19 guys in the lightweight division. So. That's awesome. That's really good at national level. Now, why did you choose the Emerald Cup? Coming back from the USA's, why, well, why did you choose to do this Emerald Cup? I need to do the Emerald Cup because it's uh, one of the biggest shows here in the Northwest, and um, I need to go back to the USA. Back to the Nationals. You're going to go back and get, get my in. ticket back, yes. Right on. Now, I wanted to ask you one thing I noticed when you were doing those incline press. You really keep your elbows wide out. Have you ever had any shoulder problems? Does that feel fine uh, for you? It feels fine for me. I really get a good stretch of the, my chest. I really feel it there. And I, I've been working out at that angle. So I yeah. feel yeah, comfortable. Your body feels natural, mm -hmm. don't it? All right, well, what do we got next? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the shoulders. Uh, starting out with a standing uh, barbell press. You do them to the front or to the rear? To the front. To the front? To the front, yes. All right, let's do it. Oh, you, good work. I'll help you get it in the rack. Come on, come on. Good, good, good. good. All right, Delphin, so Back to the old school on this. You're, uh, you start with your basic barbell overhead press. That pretty much what you always start with your shoulders. You no, know, again, I mix it around. Today I'm doing that, but there'll be other days where I start doing barbells or even machines. So. And, and what, uh, what's going to be your next exercise? Well, I want to do this one more set. Then we'll go right into a dumbbell press. Over and you're there. sticking in the eight to twelve on all this. Yes. All right. Let's stick in that range. All right, man. I'll let you do it. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Yeah. One more. Gotcha. Good. Yeah. Good work. Good work, good work. Come on. Come on. One more. Good, good. Nice set, Delphin. Let me see. Uh, how much has your weight come down from uh, your off season? Uh, I started out at 175, and right now I'm currently at 165. Okay, so when you're up about 175, I imagine your strength are you a little bit stronger? You're Just a little bit. Yeah. I try to maintain my strength as I drop the body fat, yeah. but uh, yeah, typically uh, stronger off season. Yeah. What's your What's so, your highest weight you get up to on these shoulder presses? Uh, I don't focus on so much of the weight. I focus on um, really feeling the muscle. So maybe 70, 75. Yeah. I don't go no higher than that. Good form though. Yes. No injuries. That's the key. Just That's feeling key. the muscle. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do another set. Come on, baby. Come on. I got you. Come on. Good. Let's go grind them, grind them. Come on. Come on. Yeah. One more. Got you. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Yeah. Good work.
Okay, Delphin, that was a great workout. Inspiring. I'm ready to get back in the gym now, seeing you train that hard, looking good, thickness, lightweight. You're going to bring a, a damaging package, I see. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Tell me a little bit about your competitive background. How long have you been in the sport? How long have you been training? Well, um, my first show was back in 94. I was about 24, and um, that's when I was in the Army. Oh, so and you're I a military guy, too. Thank yes. you. I appreciate yeah, yeah. that did almost 12 years in the army so uh, but anyways that was my first show I never competed till 2006 that's when I picked back up did uh, you raise a family or you just didn't like just the sport life, or life, you back life to took, <laughs> took its course uh, but I stay active maintain my health and uh, once I got back on it didn't take long to get back on the stage so. so you trained from that point 94 up until 2006 yes. you continued just, to train but you just didn't get in, I didn't get in the compete. stage yes so uh, now I'm back I'm hungry and um, again I'm looking forward to the show uh, and this is your first Emerald Cup this is my first Emerald Cup uh, I've done the Ironman you've won your classes in Ironman what else have you uh, won? Have you done anything else? I've just been doing the Ironman. That's you know, it, Ironman. So, so you got to win at the Ironman, and yeah. now you're moving up to the cup, taking yes. it up to the next level. Yes, sir. All right. Um, anything else you want to tell us about? Well, you know, it's been great. Uh, What's your inspiration? Do you have any inspiration? Who got you into the sport and anything? Well, just like everyone say, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, from Art. Uh, he started me out on this. He's been inspiring me, and um, I ain't left, uh, dropped the weight since, uh, and I started this when I was about 13. That's awesome. So, and you're 42, I want to bring up. Yeah. You could compete in the Masters, I, I but you're going 42. open. Nah, I'm not ready for the Masters. You're not ready? I turn 42 next month. So. Just coming into your prime, Excited. you're looking good, man. I've seen some of the best best natural competitors in their 40, mid-40s, you know, 45, 46, 47. Thank you, yes. So you got some good years. I think you're going to you're gonna do some damage. Looking forward to seeing you. So Thank you. I'm Tony Ruggiero, Delphin Ignacio. We're four weeks out. The 2011 Emerald Cup is the 29th anniversary. You're going to want to be there. It's going to be an excellent, excellent show. We're out.